This is Joanne Dorsey Family Homes. Joanne Dorsey Family Homes, named for Joanne Dorsey, a community activist, has been home to women and children for nearly 60 years. The Housing Authority of Champaign County helps the low and very low income to keep a roof over their heads. The Housing Authority, along with Dorsey, aims to build residents up to bring stability and potential sufficiency into their lives. Employment, education, and technology are all important building blocks to help residents achieve this goal. Much like the lives of the families who inhabit them, Dorsey Homes is going to be rebuilt in the near future. Joanne Dorsey Homes began life as the Bradley McKinley Housing Project in the early 50s. Despite unrest in the 70s, these buildings became a community, thanks in large part to the efforts of strong women in the area. One of the most significant women in this project was Joanne Dorsey, who was involved in a number of activities to benefit youth and the disenfranchised. To honor Ms. Dorsey, the rebuilt projects were named after her. Later, Ms. Margaret Neal joined in organizing the residents and was instrumental in establishing a community center. To highlight Ms. Neal's importance in its creation, the community center was named the Margaret A. Neal Community Center. Margaret is still leading the charge to enable residents, encouraging youth to do better in school, and trying to help residents become more familiar with technology. Margaret tries to keep the computers functioning, to help the residents become more familiar with the internet, and to help them improve their lives. And any additional help is appreciated now, when they are going to be losing their homes as Dorsey is torn down. The housing projects will be rebuilt but there will be fewer units, forcing one-fourth of the residents to resettle in the community in Section 8 housing. Dorsey Homes is opening doors for women by helping them to learn to use computers. A technology survey is planned to get a baseline for the technology needs of the project. This semester, a consultant has been coming down from Danville to have the elementary school children document their stories by using cameras. Kids still prefer to play games on the computer, and internet safety is not something they seem to understand. But many of the kids who want to play on the computer are young enough that they are just beginning to learn to read. Cleo's husband is one of the few adult males at Dorsey. What they have in common, overwhelmingly, is a lack. A lack of income, a lack of sense of control over their own lives and that of their children. Children under 18 account for 20% of the population that lives in poverty. Champaign City has a 20% rate of not just poverty, but extreme poverty, defined as living on less than $10,000 income per year. The average income in Champaign is $37,000. These are people served by Dorsey Homes. Young, old, black, white, raising children, or grandchildren. Much as Dorsey has risen from the rubble of an explosion and remodeling, and will do so again, these people are trying to rebuild their lives brick by brick, piece by piece. One of those building blocks is education. Margaret Neal creates a daily homework haven, an essential building block for future academic and economic success. She also organizes outings and programs for residents to enrich their lives. Another block deals with economy. The Housing Authority of Champaign County, which funds and regulates Dorsey family homes, also hosts workshops and programs to help empower residents to find work. This semester, some adults at Dorsey have used the center's computers to set up email accounts to connect to others via email or Facebook, submit online applications, and order business cards. Technology allows both adults and children to work on keyboarding skills individually or for children to practice learning skills in edutainment games. Many job applications are now only online 
and it is essential to understand how to navigate on a computer or even apply for a job at Walmart. Many residents use computers to chat with distant friends and relatives to avoid paying high long distance fees. Residents are currently digital consumers and that rather reluctantly. Ms. Neal is trying to empower residents by showing them that, starting at a young age, they can be digital creators, not just consumers, giving kids cameras to create digital stories of their lives. I'm going down, but I'm coming back up. We'll be back out here again. <laughs>